Well, hello the Transformer fans, this is Storm because I can get even with my Transformer toy reviews. This time with Transformers 1 Voyager Class Starscream. This is Transformers 1 Starscream. I don't, I'm trying to get Revenge of the Fallen. And, uh, I know, I kind of like doing this. And uh, he has very nice detail, just one thing, um, I know I have for so long to where the missiles are gone. You see? Uh, and I got this from my cousins. And the tail wing, the tail fins are gone too, you see, back here. And this supposed to be... But he's supposed to be an F-22 Raptor. Uh, hang on. This is what Revenge of the Fallen mode is supposed to be. It was supposed to look like. He, you see, he's much different. You see smaller cannons, so he looks like he's actually able to fly. More movie accurate on both movies. This one, not so much. But, no, he's still cool. He's still doing good. Some good so far. Now, he has kind of detail. Bit movie actor on the first movie. Uh, Revenge of Fallen is more movie actor on both movies, except for the Cybertronian symbols. This one doesn't. Only thing, he has Decepticon symbol right there. You see? This camera still sucks. But yeah, it's very nice. You can you can't open the cockpit to stick something in there, but you can do this and stick something in there. But that's for conversion. So let's clip that buck on there. Dumbass. Now you see it's size comparison time, and you see I'm using Devastator pieces, um, Scrapper and uh, High Tower. You see, I'll do a review on those guys later. Hey, it's cash. Testing out something, seeing if the symbols come in better. Oh well. But you see, he's a Starscream's about the same size as Scrapper and Hightower. Wait a minute, did I say that before? I don't know. But he's about the same size. I could do a better size comparison with Demolisher. And you see, about the same length. Um, yeah, Starscream's there. You see, so he's about the same length. You see. Alright, now it's time to convert to Voyager Class Starscream, Transformers 1. I know most of you know this, but this sucky thing. His head's showing right there in the bottom. You see, sucks. Revenge of Fallen's much better. I'm going to try and find him. And first, we, there's a little mask right here. Plus down, there's his head. Voila! Then we pull back the cannon. Cabin, like I showed you before. Next, we pull down his arms. Like so, like this. And next, we grab right here, separate his wings here. And pull him up, like so. And next, we tap the cabin in here, like that. Then we separate these parts here, like that. And pull this down a little bit, like that. Now we need to, like, first pull this tab down. Then pull these out. Then pull these up. Next, separate the tab here on these legs. They tab into his back. And then pull and set him down. And then close it up like that. So, damn it. Open this up here. And there, pull it down. Next, we separate his legs here. And we pull down his feet here, and then we pull forward, and we leave it just like that. So do the same thing over here, like that. Damn it. We pull his wings down, like this. And you see, this little thingy right here, the nose cone, taps in here. But it doesn't tap so well to where while you're walking or fighting, it taps down and kind of gives an effect of an that he's having an erection. <laughs> I know, I'm naughty. So I use the wings to hold it in instead. So I put it in there, like normal. And I close up the wings. Like this. Use open. And now we have Transformers 1 
Forge a class star scream in his robot mode. Nice detail, you see. Kind of movie accurate. Uh, once I find the rest of the parts, I'll redo this review. Uh, until then, kind of bear with me. But it's not like you do much with these, except you flatten these down. And you pull these back. But, since I have those parts, I don't know anyway. Once I get those parts, then I'll show you. Then I'll redo this review. Till then, hang on. But he's pretty good detail. He doesn't stand so well on his own, but he's standing pretty proper right now. So far. Nice mechanical detail. You see? Now, ah, damn it. You see, his head does rotate 360 degrees. Look at that. He does twist 360 degrees at the shoulder here. He also bends at the shoulder. And he twists 360 degrees at the elbow, but he doesn't bend. He does bend at the wrist here, and it does twist 360 degrees, but it's mostly for a little switch back here. You spin it so it's here. And he doesn't really have fingers, but these can be used as fingers. This is how I do it. Then I close it up while he's not shooting. But then his phone is much better. His legs do go forward and back. You see? No waist articulation. He does twist 360 degrees. Right around at the leg here. I don't know where exactly this is. He bends at the knee. A bit. He doesn't really have much of a foot pivot. So he's pretty cool. On some points. And there's a little something here. Um, you fold these out and you put the missiles in here. But I don't have the missiles so. Close it up. And Starscream is large when he's in robot mode. You see I have to put him on top of my Angels and Demons book. In order to get a good angle. But if I remove the book. That's what happens. So. Anyway. To let you know I can mimic the Transformers pretty good. Mostly the Decepticons. You have much to learn, my disciple. The camera is a vessel for our, our message. Its power, its knowledge can never be destroyed. It can only transform. Get out of my face! <laughs> Medic! We need a medic over here! Nah. Wait a minute, Optimus is supposed to kill you. Oh well. Well, thanks for watching. You can find me at www.guyonline.com. Send a message to Ariel, A R Y O H, and tell me what you think of this review, and stay tuned for more reviews. Thanks so much for watching. Wait a minute, that's supposed to be an O. Where did I put my goddamn pencil? Sit stand, you stupid moron! over here. So do you, but I don't really care. You're the star. Ah, oh, kill me. Oh, excuse me again. <laughs> Come here. I feel so glad you're on television. <laughs> Alright.
what? Hello? Yo, how are you doing down there anyway? I'll take that as a no. Yo! Hey! Don't have a camera! Reviews over! 